So I saw this thing once that was like, people tend to self-sabotage in ways that are the direct opposite of their love language. So if your love language is words of affirmation, you self-sabotage with negative self-talk. And if your love language is gifts, you deny yourself pleasures. And if your love language is acts of service, you might have a ton of unfinished tasks and a messy house. When I was a little younger, my love language was definitely words of affirmation, but now I know that that's just because I never got that as a kid. As I've gotten older and as I've healed a little bit more from that, I still like words of affirmation, but mine is definitely acts of service now and quality time. I would say quality time is my top and then acts of service. Which might explain why my apartment is a fucking mess. Traveling nonstop for the last two months has done a number on this place, but I'm gonna be home for the next month. So it's time to do a full life, body, mind, everything reset. I've also been putting off filming this. I got home two days ago. I've been putting off starting this because it feels like an impossible mountain. And also I kind of felt like if I started it, I had to do everything. I had to like deep clean the entire place in one day, but I just can't do that. So. It's like five o'clock right now. I am tired of editing. I'm tired of, do I'm like tired of doing my other work. So goals for today, take out all the recycling, which honestly is gonna make a huge difference because there were so many packages I had to get when I came back. Um, take out all the recycling, do the dishes and start with my laundry and for the rest of the evening keep cycling all these loads of laundry because I probably have like four or five loads to do. I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna feel accomplished. Tomorrow's a new day and I will tackle something else. Just to kind of show you guys what we're dealing with here. This is the starting point. Really not great. Really, really not great. Come through here. This is all just recycling and wait for it. More recycling here. Just just mess like it's just it's just mess these are dishes that i washed and left to dry before i went to la and dallas this most recent time i don't i don't have a single excuse for myself i have no excuses <sighs> here's the bedroom honestly the bedroom isn't bad that's laundry that matt insists i am not allowed to put away for him he's gonna put it away when he comes back and then there's literally just some clean clothes right here but it's mostly just that, so that's not even that bad. For the last two months, my bathroom has just looked like this because I don't wanna, <laughs> this is, ah! Not the lip liner pencil shavings. I'm literally so embarrassed to be showing you this, but for the last two months, I haven't really wanted to fully unpack anything. I haven't wanted to fully unpack my makeup or my toiletries cases because I would just had to repack them every five or six days. So it's just looked like this. This is just, this has just been a dumping grounds as it is usually. So slay. And then last time I was home, I did deep clean the office, but now it's a mess again. And this is where I put my suitcases when I came back. So I need to unpack everything here. This is my wedding dress. I'm actually so annoyed about this because last time I was home, I finally took my wedding dress to the dry cleaners because I Googled dry cleaners in DC that can dry clean wedding dresses and they popped up. So I drop it off, or actually they came and got it, and then I get this text being like, oh, we don't dry clean wedding dresses. So they just brought it back. So it's still not dry cleaned, and it's just, I don't know. It is time to get serious. This is an abomination. This is just hard. Like, ugh, I don't wanna be like, oh, my house is messy because I'm mentally ill, but like, like, it is hard for me because something I've noticed about myself is like, once the place is clean, I can keep it clean. Like, I enjoy cleaning. And if the house is clean, I will keep it like that. But as soon as one thing kind of gets out of order, as soon as I leave the recycling for, you know, a day too long, or I leave the dishes for a day or something like that, it just starts to snowball. And that's just a character trait I've noticed about myself in general. Like things just snowball. I feel like I have to justify myself. I feel like you guys probably get it. You probably understand, but I feel embarrassed because this is not how I want to live. And I don't want this entire vlog to be cleaning. I want it to be a whole life reset. So let's just, let's just do it. Let's just get into it. Maybe we're okay. If we don't look too close into the mirror. Just do as they say. Let's do my breath. 
everyone else around you, but I can't help it. Once you start juicing, I don't know, it really becomes a personality trait. So I'm making my favorite one right now. This is gonna be carrot, apple, ginger, lemon. It's so good. It is pretty carroty, but if you add enough lemon and ginger, I mean, I don't know, I like carrots, so it's fine. I need to reset my insides. I feel like I always eat out so much whenever I travel, and I just want my whole body inside and out to feel good. Also, it's several days later. It is <laughs> quite a bit later. I feel like I just crashed last week. I think the last thing I filmed was some cleaning bits. I actually didn't finish cleaning until today and I think it's like four days later because my body just gave out on me last week. And what I mean by that is when I got home last week and I knew that I was going to be home for a while for a month and I knew that this was going to be a time to reset a time to really get myself back together I think my body was like thank god we don't have to be go 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 anymore so we're just gonna give out on you and force you to rest and honestly that's what happened I was sleeping 10 or 11 hours a night last week and still kind of feeling tired when I woke up and I worked from my couch a lot. Like I didn't really leave the house for four straight days. And I was feeling really down on myself about all of that. I was just kind of feeling a little bit like a failure and I was getting stuff done, but really last minute, like today's Monday and I didn't record and edit today's prologues episode until yesterday, which was days later than I had wanted to do it. I was having a lot of issues with my motivation and stuff. So I was feeling pretty down on myself, but I was talking to Matt and he reminded me of something which made me feel a lot better. Last spring, or about eight straight months, so last winter and spring into the summer, Matt was working like 80 hours a week. He was full-time playing rugby and then also working another full-time job on the side, so he would, all the time, leave the house at six in the morning and not get home until like nine, sometimes even 10 at night. And he was exhausted, but he pushed through. And there's so many times last year where I just kind of marveled at this man's stamina. But when the season ended, he also quit that other job that he was doing. And so for the first time in eight months, he had the opportunity to rest because the thing with rugby is that you also work every single weekend, like games are on the weekends and you have to do captain's runs and there's so much that goes on. And so you really don't get time off. And every day that he did have time off, he was working at this other job. So for the first time in like eight months, he was just able to rest and that boy could not physically pick himself up off the couch for two straight weeks. And he reminded me that last year I had told him that that makes sense. Like you asked your body to do a lot for you. You asked your mental health to do a lot for you by pushing yourself so hard for so long. And you were just kind of in fight mode a little bit and you were forcing yourself to get through it. But as soon as you had the opportunity to have rest, your brain was like, thank God we are forcing you to be a couch potato because you need it. And he reminded me of that and that made me feel a lot better because I was just feeling super down on myself last week for not being able to do anything. Oh my God. There's not even a plug over here. Okay, we're gonna have to move this operation. But I just really needed to hear that and I appreciated that so much. I just needed someone else to validate to me that it was okay that for four or five days, I couldn't leave my house. I needed more sleep. I worked from my couch. Like I just didn't feel like my best self because my body was prioritizing rest. I needed to hear that. 
Maybe you need to hear that right now. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna juice. So this juicer is from Amazon and she is simple but mighty. I have to remember how to put this together. I always forget how to put this together. <laughs> this is the only juicer I've ever had. So I don't know if it's like the best one on the market but I think it does a great job for what it is. It's from Amazon, I'll, I'll link it in the, we'll link it in my bio. It's really easy, you just cut up everything you want to juice. And it's honestly so simple. So this is the pulp. It's pretty dry. I know some people do put it back through just to get the rest of the juice out. One downside to this is I need to figure out something really good to do with the pulp. I think if I'm doing like celery and carrot, I can save this and maybe even make vegetable stock or like um, soup broth out of it. Otherwise, I'm not sure. I know when my mom juices, she composts it, but I don't compost because I live in the city. So if you have any suggestions for what to do with this besides making soup or something, let me know. I had to put the juice in this clean vase because I don't have a pitcher big enough for all of it. And I wanted to make sure all of the fruits and veggies were mixed thoroughly. And then for the ginger, I actually don't have fresh ginger, but I have this Trader Joe's 100% ginger juice drink mix that dissolves in liquid. So not as good as juicing fresh ginger, but I couldn't find it when I went to the store last time. But I mean, I think this is pretty good. The only ingredient is ginger. And then I have the cutest little jars. I think some people drink this ginger mix in their water. It's more of a daily, I don't know, like a supplement routine or a morning thing. But I like it in this juice. So good. I think I'm gonna have to put it back in this because this has a little spout. It'll be easier to pour that way. I got the cutest little jars, little bottles from Amazon. They look like milk cartons, but they're made of plastic. And I put all my juice in here. However, I think I should have, instead of just buying these, like buying a new item, I have now realized that I should have just started saving and cleaning kombucha bottles because I drink kombucha so often and those are glass bottles that I could recycle perfectly well. So if you're gonna do this, I would just say repurpose glass bottles that you already use. Two good sized bottles. Look how cute. I don't know how long they last because I always drink them pretty quickly, but I just keep them in the fridge and shake them up. So good. Okay, I'm just on my healthy shit today. I've come out for a walk because I was talking to you guys about not leaving my house for so long. All the exposure is weird. And I was like, it's actually beautiful. And Virginia is not beautiful for very long because in three weeks or so, it's gonna be 90 degrees and 90% humidity. And then it'll be 100 degrees and 95% humidity until October. So I need to take advantage just on this little walk. And I feel good. It feels so good to get out of the house, feel the sun on my skin. I also think once I do my little walk, which is honestly kind of a form of therapy for me, because I just play my favorite music and I let my mind kind of wander. It's not really a hot girl walk in the traditional sense, because I feel like on a hot girl walk, you're supposed to think about your manifestations and your intentions and you're supposed to practice self-love and whatever. I'm not really doing that. I'm just enjoying my life a little bit. I'm romanticizing my life. And there's something about 6 p.m., the sun is shining, I can hear the birds. Also, I've timed this perfectly because everyone who has a dog has just gotten off of work and they're walking their dog, so I have seen so many. I had this one day last week where my desire to have a pet just really hit me in full force again, and I was sending Matt pictures of golden retrievers all day. I have wanted a pet so badly for the last year, and it's just not the greatest time because of life. We live in an apartment, travel, whatever, but I want one so badly. I think I'm also, after this walk, gonna go to the Apple store. I got this notification from Verizon that I can upgrade my phone. I've never held any of the iPhone 14s or like the 14 Pro. So I just wanna go into the Apple store and look at them and feel it, see if I wanna upgrade. I'll probably grab dinner while I'm out too. I need to go grocery shopping, so I'll probably pick up sweet green or something. And then Matt and I have a little FaceTime date tonight to watch Shadow and Bone, our favorite show right now. Season two just came out and we're catching up on it. Without fail, whenever people see me vlogging in public, they give me super judgmental looks. I'm on a walk and I'm making money, bitch. Can you say the same?
tripod. I need better tripods. I'm gonna dye my eyebrows. I have this Just For Men mustache and beard dye because I feel like that's what people usually use. I don't know. I saw Victoria Paris dye her eyebrows this week and I was like, I'll try that. Mix color and developer, apply, five minutes, rinse. Easy. Don't think I need very much. I got the M55 Real Black color because I do my eyebrows in black, but I thought black dye might be kind of intense. I really like having my eyebrows match my roots and not my dyed color. I like a big contrast between my eyebrows and this lightened bit. I love that in blondes too. I love when blondes have like dark brown eyebrows. If this can save me, actually it probably won't save me any time getting ready in the morning, but it might make me feel a little bit more confident on no makeup days. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like if I have a little face tanner on and then dyed eyebrows, maybe that'll be good for like no makeup makeup. Okay, I really hope you can see me. I don't want to get it on my skin. I'm back combing the dye through my eyebrows just to make sure it's really coated. And then I guess I can go in with a Q-tip and clean up the skin. So I don't want my skin to be like getting dyed black. I definitely made too much color even though I was trying to be conservative with it. The nice thing is this kit will obviously last like a bunch of uses. I can already see, can you already see the dye starting to work on this side? Let's see, what else is going on today? I don't think I vlogged yesterday. I didn't really do anything reset-y. I just um, worked from outside my house. Although, I yesterday I did hire a house cleaner to come and deep clean the house and sanitize the house. I obviously had cleaned it beforehand, but just as a little treat to myself. How long ago did I do it the first time? Maybe five or six months. As a little treat sometimes, I will hire like a cleaning service. My building actually, there's like a cleaning service affiliated with the building and you get like this discount. Um, not every time, obviously, but like for special occasions. So the last time we did it was before the wedding. We knew we were going to have like all of his family coming to look at our apartment and like coming to stay with us. We did it then. And so this time, just because this is like a deep, deep reset, we did that. The nice thing though, I got the sanitizing service add-on, which I love, but the house does smell pretty strongly of cleaning fluids now. Definitely. I should have put Vaseline or something down around my eyebrows. But yeah, otherwise yesterday all I did, I went to a coffee shop and I worked, but other than that I just did, you know, normal stuff. To be honest, I'm getting kind of lonely. The long distance has been a lot harder lately. I'm also going to get my disport touched up at 11. I'll bring you guys along with that. And then I need to finalize my preparations for next week's podcast episode. And then I should record it tonight. We'll see if I have time. Wow. Okay, there's a little bit too much dye on my skin to really be able to tell. It's looking very promising though. I think after I've washed my face a few times and the dye on my skin fades, it's gonna look really good. It looks very promising. I'm actually pretty impressed. Yeah, so right now, this is the most my forehead has moved okay. in probably two years. Okay. I haven't seen these forehead lines in forever. So just okay. the full. So forehead between the brows. Do we do just a little bit of crows? I see we did like one crow spot on no, you. No, I did that once and I. March. I did didn't it once and I didn't love it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just forehead in between the brows then. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So I'll we see. did like a little bit in February. So and then we touched it up, yeah. But I think it's okay. pretty much all like, cool, all worn off now. I love your nails. Let's do it. Oh, thanks. I got them done yesterday. Those are so cute. Where did you get them Thank done? Thank you. NIB in Falls Church. I love I that. I love that place. This is and Alex, the everybody. Blue on my toes. Hi. Oh, yeah, this is Alex. She pokes me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have to say cool. I'm loving my lips. They're so perfect. I Thank brought you. in like the tiny bit that we had left. Just in just case. Just in case. I didn't know what you were wanting to do today. I feel like they look perfect. There's like the tiniest bit of the wrinkle like right there. Yeah. But honestly, I don't. it's not bothering me very much. Some people honestly with their normal anatomy, like I even yeah. have that and I haven't had filler in two years. So. Yeah. I, it's really not bothering me and I yeah. feel like it's all good. Yeah. I'm refusing to work inside of my house. 
for the time being because oh, I know nice. that once like once summer really hits I'm not yeah. gonna want to leave so yeah every day I'm finding a new little coffee spot I want to go to the I one by it. here this time that you recommended last have you time not been? no not yet you like um chai love chai it's the best chai so I've actually never had I've tried rare bird I've tried Pete's I've tried Starbucks and mm. at least like a couple other places around here just like local north side mm -hmm. Nothing tastes like this one. Okay, perfect. It's literally the best one. Is there space to like sit down and work? It's the cutest little, like everyone goes and works there. Cute. And they have really good food too, actually. They have like sandwiches, they have a chicken tortilla soup that's really good. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I went to Pete's and I got a chai yesterday and it was so sweet that it's I had like to- It's like gingerbread-y. I like had to stop drinking it yeah. because it was so sweet. I don't want to mess up your beautiful makeup. I know. Your skin's looking really good too. Thank you. The biggest reason that I wanted to touch up, I mean, yeah, the movement, but honestly, yeah. when my forehead gets like rough and textured, yeah. that's how I know. I mean, the glow, like I could be yeah. using all my products and if I don't have my tox, it's just like not the same. It's not the and same. And then once I have that little bit of tox, it makes a huge difference. Just checking to see if my makeup looks weird. I feel like it's fine. Alex is the best. She works at Laser of Arlington. I'll put her Instagram on the screen. If you live in this area and you're looking for someone to do Injectables, I love her, highly recommend. I'm gonna go to Caldy's Social House, little coffee shop to work, because Alex just said they have the best chai in the world, and I love chai. Those versions, if you get to feel that, and your present version is feeling it for them, and you get to feel a level of like forgiveness and compassion and acceptance of the apology that they've given today. No, there should have been a different level of attention given to things. Which yeah. I think is why, like, I don't want to feel that. I don't want to validate yeah. that because I don't want, because I, I just want it to be over. Like, I just, I don't want that to affect me now and like the relationships now. Sometimes what we resist will persist. So if your body is like kind of giving you signals that it wants to feel a little bit of anger, like anger is a smoke signal to injustice or something that wasn't right. So anger is just your body sign and signal that like, no, that really wasn't right.